So I'm in here in the RV, and I was I usually do a weekly test of the RV, you know, just to make sure everything's running, uh, exercise the gaskets, as they say. Uh, and I would I went to go test the generator, and it wouldn't work. I'm gonna show you. So there's the generator switch, and if if you're familiar with these, if you hit it up, oh, see now it's working because I moved it. But this was not lighting before. What that blinking means is that it's preheating. So it runs off a of diesel. The generator runs off a of diesel, so it needs to, to preheat the glow, pro, glow plugs and to make it comfortable for it to run with it being cold outside. Uh, so when I didn't have any power to it, I think this is going to be called RV parked, by the way, because usually you find out these problems when you're parked. Of course. They always happen at the worst times. So you can hear it running. And the first thing I did was I, I put a voltmeter, not, not knowing where it's getting the power from, I put a voltmeter to both of these put a voltmeter to both the batteries with the engine off but the battery the batteries have a, a tender to them so it's constantly getting power when it's on shore power so I'm like what else could be it so I came on the side look at that had absolutely no idea what any of that did but then I just read all the being sure not to touch any of it read all the descriptions and realized that it's not sending any power from the house side. At least that's what I think it's not. And over here, you can see that house disconnect. I also did some troubleshooting to where you turn that off and then you test, test some other stuff like some batteries. And I just started working my way is all very interesting. Somebody might find it useful. So this front pops open and there's like a little latch right here. See that little doohickey? That's what they actually call it. And what's interesting, just by a little troubleshooting, you could save easily $2,000 from having this thing go sit in a shop, have them look at it, take smoke breaks, have, have it look at it, another grand. You see what I'm thinking? So look at all that. That's a rat's nest in there. Whole bunch of angry pixies running through those wires. So when I would hit this, you can hear it almost. That would not go on. So I came over here and looked at those wires. Those are all like comm wires and, and that's, that's out. That's power going out. These are power going in. And I followed this, see this right there, yeah, to this. And what I found, was see that right there? I wanted to watch that. That is not supposed to happen. So that nut backed off from vibration. So with me moving that around just from that, it, it made this happy to where it'll preheat. I got the shore power on, so I'm gonna kick the uh, circuit breaker off. Woo -woo! She is purring like Miles and Damien. I've never, uh, apparently her name's Onan. I guess that's the girl's name.
instead of doing it how I normally do it, where you tighten it until you hear the snap, and then you back it off a little bit and leave it for the next guy, I actually just snugged it up. That's all it needs. Just buy a little troubleshooting. Save yourself some money. Keep the RV on the road. Keep traveling. And keep having fun. Go to audibletrial.com slash roadtrip. Get yourself a free audiobook. If you like this RV park segment, we'll do it again.